Kermaiket, uh, Ara, um, as you're aware, COVID-19 has presented a particular hardship for those caring for loved ones who have been without a break, without respite, and it's heartbreaking to speak to mothers and fathers who are finding it difficult to cope. In particular, I want to ask you this evening about two such respite facilities in Donegal and when you plan for these facilities to resume the provision of respite care services. The first is Drumbo House and the second is Seaview House. The facilities, as you know, are crucial and critical for carers in Donegal, and these Thank need to be open as a Minister. matter of priority. Mr. I want to thank the Deputy for raising the question and giving me the opportunity to address this. So, in relation to Seaview House, it had been closed up to January of 2021. It is now reopened and it's rehab that have the contract for delivering care there. It is only open five days a week. I would like to see it open going forward into seven days a week because respite is such a crucial part of, of the cornerstone of, of supporting families. So, that is in relation to Seaview House. Um, Drumbo um, Respite House is uh, centre-based in Stranor, or Stranor, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, in Donegal, that provides services including respite for adults, for children and, with disabil and children with disabilities. And it is ran also by the HSE and the service is currently operating at capacity but providing ongoing emergency residential care. And just before I came in this evening again, um, Deputy, I made contact again with the HSE in CHO1 in relation to, to respite and I am assured that in relation to exactly Drumbo House that some of the residents that perhaps were there in more long term than in a respite residential phase are actually accommodation has been sought for them. That is going to be looked after during the week and this house will actually become respite full time as opposed to perhaps in just up to now, perhaps some were staying there longer than just on a temporary basis and that is um, being addressed as we speak. Also it's important to say there was an entire review carried out in CHO1 in relation to respite because under budget 2020 it was determined that we would open one new respite in each of our CHOs, of which it was also determined as part of the review in CHO 1 that not this was not happening in Donegal because there wasn't a need. What needed was the time savings and the allocation of the funding there. The properties were there, but the management needed to be delivered out differently. However, there is a respite house going in to Sligo Leitrim um, for children with disabilities. So that is to ensure that the full of the CHO has a decent complement of respite supporting the families that you speak about here this evening. How about Deputy Doherty? I can assure you there's no uh, decent complement of services for, uh, for, for, for families in, in, in Donegal. Uh, and we've been aware of the realities of COVID-19 for well over a year now. And notwithstanding the, the absolute fantastic job that many of the staff are doing in facilities such as Drumbo House in Stranorla, which has been used as emergency accommodation for a number of vulnerable adults, there are children and there are families who are being asked to forgo respite care services and there is no end in sight for them. So if it is the case that contingency plans for accommodation or respite care in other facilities need to be put in place, then so be it. But I would ask you to put in place a plan to reopen Drumbo House as a matter of urgency. If you can provide a date for when that would happen for this respite service, that would be welcome. I ask you to bear in mind that the children who use the, this facility are familiar with it, they know it intimately, and they feel safe and secure there. And that is an important consideration. So after a year that these children and families have faced, they deserve that your department and act with urgency to resolve the situation and get Drumbo House reopened for respite care services. Thank you, Minister. Of the three residents, I, I need to correct you on a fact there. You, you said that it is not open. Of the three residents currently re living in Drumbo, um, the plan is as follows. As two residents are moving to Schlieffschnachter in Letterkenny. A technical assessment will be completed this week and a programme of minor works then completed on the house. This has been prioritised by the estates on their programme of work and the move will be facilitated as soon as possible to do so. One resident has been identified for a joint placement with an external provider. Compatibility assessments are underway and this will be progressed on completion of compatibility and the engagement process with the external provider. Should the joint placement not be feasible, an alternative provider will be resourced and Drumpo House will be used as a respite house, freeing up completely for the families that you speak about. 
need to conclude. Said it isn't open for respite services. I know we'd like to know when, or the families would like to know a date. But also in relation to Seaview House in Mount Charles, it's another facility that provides a lifeline for many families in South Donegal and further afield. And I've been raising this critical service for many, many years. I've heard the minister say that it's open in five days uh, a week. She would like it to open seven days a week. There is no reason why that can't happen, bar a budget and reason. So would you give a commitment to make the funds available to allow that service to open for seven days a week? It is slowly reopening, but it was only ever providing that five-day services. So what their families are calling for, and I'm asking you today, is to act urgently to reopen Seaview House on a seven-day basis. The need is there. It is very clear. And if you don't believe me, then I would invite you to come to Donegal and to speak to the families who contact my office uh, every single week in desperation, because they're telling me in no uncertain terms that this facility is crucial. They need the support, Minister, and I urge you to look on that demand to open Seaview House. As you said, you would like to see it open on a seven-day basis. Let's do it. Let's make the funds available to rehab to actually provide the two extra days. Minister. Thank you, Karen Corla. Um, in relation to Seaview House, that house was actually closed till the budgets became available in Budget 2021. And it is Deputy McConnell, Minister McConnell, that has brought to my attention of the need of it to be open seven days a week. And conversations have started within the HSE to ensure that funding and an application would be put forward to expand the service from five to seven days so you can reassure the families that this is a priority in the Donegal area. Deputy.